Alrighty, well, I guess I better do a little update on the van. No, it's not on the road yet. Uh, yesterday I just got done doing the injectors on it, and it runs a hell of a lot better. It's still not perfect. I'm, I'm suspecting uh, retarded timing. I'm going to have to bring it to an international dealer and have it timed. Because I don't have the equipment to do that. Yeah, I do have a sofa in there. That couch is uh, an old Roxton. Roxton doesn't exist anymore. It was made in August of 1977. And I have the complete set. The love seat and the chair is in the house. These are just a bunch of carpets from where I work. I also cleaned it up. I took the 20 years of dust off the dash and everything. I still have to do the floor, but <laughs> it's probably gonna stay stay like that. Not worth it. As long as I have a clean dash, clean AM radio. So now I did injectors, return lines, everything related to the injectors. Yesterday it fired right up after bleeding out the air, of course, and it ran great. So now I'm going to restart it again the day after, which is today, to see if it has any air leaks in the return system. If not, then I'm good. So I'm going to reconnect the batteries and hopefully they have enough juice to crank her over. Now I only have seven working glow plugs out of eight because one of them I broke the spade connector off of. So I still haven't got any spare glow plugs for this engine yet because they're not the same as the newer 6.9 or... I mean the 87 6.9 or any 7.3 this one has the old spade connector 6 volt glow plugs versus the uh, bullet bullet connector 12 volt glow plugs of the 87 and any 7.3 alright so I got the batteries hooked up and let's see what we got manual glow plugs Okay, here we go. Nope, not enough juice. Fuck, I'm gonna have to hook up my uh, booster pack. All right, here we go again. It is only 35 degrees outside, but it should still pop right off. It just needs new batteries. These are way too weak.